Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the week of October or November 9th. Uh, this week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell, and you will catch me live. But Scorpio, uh, this already looks really good. Um, you have this Imagine card, which is a great card for uh, manifesting your dreams. But uh, let's keep it going here. Uh, definitely could be communication coming in, new love offer coming in. It's like someone's been waiting to make an offer of love towards you here. So uh, I like to see that. Um, but let's see what is going on for you here, Scorpio. Your overall energy for the week is the horse. It says freedom is yours. So I feel like for a lot of you, you could be gaining some freedom here. I would say that you have the hangman to the five of wands here in your reading. And I do feel that for a lot of you, this is just saying, um, you know, that sometimes I think we can become more free. We can like make more money or whatever, or maybe even we could find love that we haven't had for a long time. And maybe that's not like freedom, finding love, but it kind of is, because it's like, if you've been trapped being single for a long time, and then you find love, it kind of is freedom in a certain way. And it's like, sometimes we find that freedom and we panic a little bit. So I feel like this is saying, don't panic, stay calm, right? <laughs> and I feel like that's what you need to do uh, with this horse energy is what I'd say to you there, Scorpio. But um, uh, let's see what we have going on for you here a lot of blue in these cards i'm noticing but uh, you start off with this imagine card this is a card of needing to kind of like bring your dreams down to earth you know this it's going to be really hard to see there's basically a person with a rope around the moon on this card here and they are pulling the moon down and it basically says they are trying to manifest some sort of dream or they're trying to create their own reality in their life at this time you have the Queen of Pentacles to the Two of Wands to the Two of Swords here. I feel for some of you, you were like in a little bit of a comfort zone. You were in this place where maybe you had resources, maybe abundance, maybe things were going well for you in the past. And then you decided to start some sort of journey. Maybe you decided to leave a comfort zone. Maybe you decided to take the lead on a situation with this Two of Wands. And so I feel like that is a good thing. It's like you stepped up to the plate is what's popping into my head. You decided to do something with your life maybe. Maybe you decided to just take control of your life in the recent past with this two of wands. But I feel like now you are kind of at a little bit of a stalemate. It's like you're trying to make a decision and you're not really sure what to do in a situation. Uh, this could be your person as well. So take it how it resonates. But it's like someone took some, I, I wouldn't even really call this a risk. Uh, I would just say um, the words out of character are popping into my head. But I even think that that is too extreme. It's like, I just feel like someone is doing something that they've never done before or did something. I feel like this could be over the last like four years or so. So it's like, maybe you took a risk in love, maybe you took a risk in business and started a business or something along those lines. But it's like, now you have some sort of decision to make here, some sort of head over heart decision. The amazing thing is, is you have two aces right next to this, um, the ace of swords and the ace of cups. Um, amazing. <laughs> so uh, two aces to me is a definite yes. Any decision you're trying to make, I feel like this two of swords is saying, just say yes. Um, you know, if you go this way, it's like you have, con you go to conflict. So for some of you, I almost feel like this is saying, don't be distracted by something new is popping into my head for some of you, but it's popping into my head specifically for work. Um, so if there's like a new offer or a new opportunity, you have this five of wands coming up here, which is like future conflict or future competition. So I feel like for some of you, this is saying stick with what you got in business and keep pushing. So that's what I feel like you need to do there. For others, I feel like there is an opportunity that you're not seeing and maybe you feel like there's a lot of competition. You know, she's not making a decision on this card here and she has a blindfold on. She's like fearing that if she steps into the, she's trying to get to this land that's behind her, basically Scorpio. That land could represent anything. It could represent new love. It 
could represent coffee being ready. It could represent, you know, pretty much anything. But it's like she needs to go across the water there to get to that new land to be successful. So I feel like for some of you, this is saying you need to go across that water. You need to uh, take your blindfold off and look to new lands, to a wants. I feel like new things, or a page of cups, something new, are going to lead to a lot of success. Again, she's fearing that if she takes if she go, takes this journey, she will be hurt by the these rocks but if she took her blindfold off she would see the rocks and she could avoid them right so I feel like for some of you this is just saying you need to start something new uh, next you have this ladybird card I would call it a ladybug but uh, it says all your manifestations positive thoughts and vis visualizations have been heard this card just says luck on it so I feel like there is a lot of luck coming in for you here with this card so I like that definitely a very lucky week you have the hangman the Page of Cups and the Ace of Swords. I got this story very quickly at the beginning where it's like someone has been delaying making a move towards you here. It's like they've been waiting for the perfect moment. But I feel Page of Cups, the Ace of Swords is like finally communication. So I do feel for some of you, you could finally be getting communication from a person um, or this could be like a secret admirer or someone who is interested in you. It's like they're finally communicating with you with that Ace of Swords. For others, um, and by the way, this could be like a Pisces and air sign, Pisces and air, or Pisces and Earth, I should say, stand out to me here. It could be a Capricorn coming in for you. Uh, for others, I feel like this is an opportunity that you have been waiting for um, with that page of cups. The hangman, we put ourselves in hangman mode. We hang ourselves like that so that we can gain enlightenment. His head is glowing. And then you have the page of cups here. But I still feel like the problem with the page, the uh, hangman, is that there can still be some delays. Um, you know, you could still be waiting when something is right in front of you with this page of cups. So for some of you, it's like, I feel like you've been waiting for something. You've been waiting for information or something like that but I feel like the answer is right in front of you with this page of cups and I feel like you need to grab onto it the page of cups has this fish that is in his cup here and it kind of represents something that could slip away from you very quickly if you're not careful so I do feel like for some of you this is saying like you need to kind of like grab onto something very quickly you need to um, you know make sure that something doesn't slip away I feel like there's a victory coming in for you here as well some sort of major victory probably in making a decision you know what's really interesting you have the two of swords here, and then you have this, there's a palm frond on one side, and there's an olive branch on the other. Uh, it, this can represent an offer of peace, the olive branch, and things like that, but the palm frond represents a sacrifice, or a sacrifice needing to be made, a decision needing to be made, or that has been made already. And the olive branch can also represent abundance, or, you know, there are fruits, the olive fruits are red on this card, and it can represent abundance and success, or some sort of victory coming in for you. So I feel for some of you, you are making a choice here to move towards something. Two, two wants, two swords, two pentacles, major decisions being made this week. But I feel like these decisions are going to lead to victory. Uh, what I really love about the Ace of Swords is the fact that it represents a victory in the future as well. Um, you know, the swords are over these mountains. It says you will always be able to conquer whatever the, this challenge that you've experienced is. Uh, next, you have the wisdom card here. So again, probably the, re the reason you're making this decision is because of wisdom, because you have trusted your wisdom, or maybe you have done like a deep dive. You have the five of wands, the two of pentacles, and the ace of cups here. For some of you, this could be a choice in love. Five of wands is like conflict and competition. Two of pentacles is like juggling. So I do feel for some of you, you could have been in a juggling situation and you're probably just choosing something new as far as love is concerned. Again, this first diagonal, queen of pentacles to the page of cups to the ace of cups is a new choice. Uh, queen of pentacles, I call the crossroads sometimes. To me, she can represent having a choice to make. I feel like you're just to the page of cups, you're choosing new love, which is gonna lead to the ace of cups, which is like an engagement, marriage, or true love coming in for you. So I definitely like to see that. For others, I feel like this is kind of a warning here. I feel like you need to avoid conflict or competition this week, um, especially in the home. Mars retrograde, I mean, you know, Mars retrograde, it's always a bad time. I feel like you need to pay attention as well. Yeah, it almost looks like a traffic cone that he has on his head. It's it's popping into my head as like a traffic cone like you'd see on the road. So I'd be careful while you're driving and things like that, Scorpio. Um, and there are boats back here, which can represent travel. Um, it's popping into my head as a warning. I would just keep, I don't think anything crazy is gonna happen. I would just make sure to, 
you know, pay attention while you're driving, things like that. No speeding, I would say here is popping into my head as well. Um, so I'll say, I'll say it, <laughs> don't speed. Uh, for others, I feel like someone very fun is coming in for you and someone very different. It's like, I, like I see <laughs> what's popping into my head here is if you're looking for new love, I feel like there are like all these people like just like, you know, all, like all throughout life, right? And they're just like battling and fighting and all this other stuff. And then I feel like there's this person right here and they're just like off somewhere else. I feel like they're just like, you know, entertaining themselves. Uh, what the hell does that mean? I feel like if you're attracting love into your life, I feel like you're attracting someone who's like very unique, who doesn't just go along with the crowd, someone who doesn't, um, someone who probably doesn't even uh, think like most people do. So I feel like there could be like a very unique person coming in for you. It's like, while well, everybody's always like fighting over politics and like all this other stuff, I feel like this person's like much deeper than that. I feel like they're more worried about like other things in life, things that are actually important. And that's what's standing out to me for some reason with that two of pentacles. For others, I feel like something is trying to get your attention. I have never noticed this. There are these little bells and you're not gonna be able to see them on the Ace of Cups here, but there are little bells on the Ace of Cups. I feel like something that you will truly love is trying to get your attention. That's what keeps popping into my head. The five wands is conflict or competition. Two pentacles need to make a choice. It's almost like there could be like a job offer coming in or a business offer, something that'll make you very happy, but I feel like you're gonna have to accept the offer with this um, Ace of Cups. So uh, let's try to get more detail and see what is this that is coming in for you here, Scorpio. A victory chariot so some sort of victory uh, five of cups walking away from sadness for sure and the uh, king of swords wisdom you have a lot of cards of wisdom here you have the hangman which is like gaining wisdom you have the wisdom card here so i like to see that but you have the chariot to the five of cups to the um the king of swords i feel like you need to use your discernment this week with the king of swords i feel that for some of you this is like the uh, chariot to me to the five of cups would say that um you know basically the only thing that can get you off your path and make you sad like the five of cups is other people's opinions the chariot is a card of total control and it's a card of hard control as well it says you are in control of your week but these two sphinxes represent external circumstances they represent other people or um you know they represent uh, people getting in the way of your life and and things like that as well so i feel like for some of you this is saying you need to kind of like not worry about other people it is a card of as above so below even on the five of cups we have a choice we have a choice to focus on these five cups or we can turn around to see what we do have focus on these two cups and not only that if we see those two cups we see a bridge that leads to this castle over here so it's not just two cups um i literally just said this in the pisces reading um the five of cups is not just you turning around getting two cups you're getting two cups plus a bridge to this castle so you're getting a castle and whatever whatever else is inside of that castle as well for some of you it's almost like there could be some regrets in a situation you know there's a maybe somebody made a choice to walk away or run away like there's castles in the background of this chariot card as well here scorpio so maybe someone has some regrets of walking away from what they thought was safe, secure, comfortable, protected, all those things. But I feel like this is leading to a transformation for you in a big way, Scorpio. So definitely major transformation energy. I like the two aces here uh, coming up for you. So that's nice. Yeah, loyal heart. Um, for some of you, this could be being tested, your loyal heart, or maybe someone wasn't loyal. Maybe someone was juggling with the two of pentacles and the five of cups. But I feel like this is leading towards your true love um, or a decision to pick someone new here with this energy. Uh, for others, I feel like you're just working hard. And I feel like this five of cups is saying, take a break. <laughs> just that simple. So that's what I have for you this week, Scorpio. It looks pretty good. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.